Now, a lot of times people ask us how much slope that you should have on your yeast troughs, and it really doesn't need a lot of slope. It just needs enough so that the water is going to actually flow in the right direction. It's not going to stand around. Um, you don't need to have really steep angles of all the, the grades um, because that often just doesn't look so good on the house anyway. Um, so as long as when you put a level on the eaves trough that the bubble is, is uh, showing, the little bubble is showing that it's going uh, to the high end and that's, uh, that gives you enough slope on your eaves trough. So you don't really have to deal with percents or uh, uh, you know how much I would say on average it's probably a bit a foot. No, that's not a foot. I would say that on average maybe over a 40 foot long piece you would probably drop maybe an inch and a half. So you start up as high as you can at one end of the fascia board and it slowly slopes down and so once you get to the the, the last of the 40 foot piece you probably have dropped about an inch, inch and a half and that would be a, considered about ideal run. And that's pretty about all you can get pretty much all that you can get out of an eaves trough for slope anyway because then you start the fascia boards are only usually like a one by six wide so as you come down too much further then they're hanging off the bottom of the fascia boards and depending on what part of the house you're you know you're dealing with that can be unsightly so you want to try and stay on the fascia boards if at all possible